Bull Shed Saloon. <laughs> Good evening and welcome to PM Magazine. I'm Marlo Bendow. And I'm Steve Doyle. And tonight we've kind of stepped back in time to the 1800s here at the Old Stagecoach Museum in Shakopee. And in just a little while, we're going to watch a very modern, or at least a very unusual, wedding here. We're going to watch as Minneapolis stuntman Kai Michelson takes his vows. And the life of a Hollywood stuntman could include anything from jumping off of a roof, jumping out of windows, rolling a car, even being lit on fire. Clearly, stuntmen are not ordinary people, and they don't live ordinary lives. Would you imagine a stuntman's wedding to be ordinary? Not a chance. Tonight, PM Magazine takes you to one of the zaniest weddings in history as we watch a Minneapolis stuntman Kai Michelson get married. Now, you can imagine that it's bound to be fun when the invitation reads, Kai and Karen want you at their hanging. It's stunts like these that have made Hollywood stuntmen famous. Stuntmen are a breed all their own, and part of their daily routine is putting their life on the line. So why should getting married be any different? Now, what would professional stuntman and stunt coordinator Kai Michelson and his bride-to-be Karen Godwa be doing with nooses around their necks? Well, getting married, of course. It's all part of the script that Kai so cleverly worked out. Well, I think... Uh... Basically, most uh, weddings kind of start out real peacefully, and uh, a lot of them, unfortunately, go the other way into a fight or a brawl or whatever. I figured I could start mine out with a brawl, and hopefully it's going to smooth out uh, for the rest of my life. So I'm going to try it the other way, a little bit uh, untraditional. Well, what would be more untraditional than a good old traditional hanging? The stage, an old western town called Stagecoach, where everyone is busy preparing for the wedding. Stuntmen line the streets, warming up and practicing punches. Here's the deal. A lot of people are going to be filming today. The wedding cast receives last-minute instructions from the preacher and scriptwriter Peter Tekamp. Most important thing: stay cool <laughs> and do your job. Um, I was going to be on that side there. Take it all up here. Of course, the most crucial job is preparing the gallow. And what better man to coordinate this stunt than the best man, Dar Robinson, the most well-known stuntman in the country, who will, incidentally, act as hangman as well. This has all been totally safety rigged, and it's really important that it is safe. After all, we'd hate to have a hanging for real on a wedding day when this is an actual wedding day. So, looks like we're ready to go. Okay, I'm ready. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> We're ready. It's happening. It's going to be dynamite. At precisely high noon, the wedding party marched down the street and the ceremony begins. Dearly beloved, we're gathered today in the sight of God in this multitude to witness the execution of the bonds of matrimony between Kai Michelson and Karen Gadwa. Do you, Kai Michelson, have this woman, Karen Gadwa, to be your lawfully wedded wife? Yes, I do. To love and to cherish? To have and to hope, forsaking all others till death do you part? I do. Do you, Karen Gadwa, take this man, Kai Michelson, to be your lawfully wedded husband? To have and to hold, to love and to cherish, forsaking all others from this day forth? I do. If there be any person here who sees any reason why these two people should not be married, let them speak now, forever hold their peace. <laughs> In the light of your professed love for each other, I see I have no choice but to sentence you to hang together for eternity. Hey! Do you have any final requests before we execute the sentence? Yeah, we want to get married. That's why we're here. <laughs> by the powers invested in me by the temporary township of Stagecoach, 
I now pronounce you man and wife. Hang him. There was little time to second guess the nuptial vows because a shootout broke out between the Michelsons and the Gadwise. Concerned that the party and commence. How did Kai and Karen come out of the ceremony? <laughs> okay. Well, it was uh, definitely. Uh, I felt it. I know that uh, Karen did too. And how did the guests react? I thought it was fantastic. It's nice something like this goes on in Minneapolis. It was good because we need some change around here in Minnesota. You know, we need somebody to bring some life in and somebody who cares enough to show the heart of what a stuntman's all about. The celebration following the ceremony had all the trimmings of a wedding reception, plus a few more. <laughs> was cake cutting and eating, and you guessed it, more stunts. I'll talk about your mama. Take off the hat. This lady's present here. I'll tell you what. I said, shut up. There were horse rides, wedding pictures. OK, folks, are you all ready? OK, let's have one of them. OK. One more. And more stunts. Oh, oh. 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 There was eating, socializing, and dancing. And then the highlight of the stunts. Dar Robinson set himself on fire. We're here to have fun, you know, and uh, as it turned out, we all had a real good time, and uh, uh, the people up here in Minnesota, they got to uh, see a little bit of Hollywood. All I care is everybody had fun, <laughs> and um, the people who knew me, know me, you would expect to see exactly what they saw.